Thank you very much. I now call upon the member for Migori County, Honorable Fatuma Mohammed, also known as Fulnet. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Not also known, known as Full Network. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. I stand with authority as a mother, as a daughter. That means I'm also a child. I support this convention. It has become a norm for our young girls, and to be specific, the white men walk into this country, they leave their families behind in their countries where they come from, they cheat our little girls, get them pregnant, and then leave them there, knowing very well there is nowhere this girl will get help from. I have a case that I'm very sympathetic with, and to mention, a Dutch citizen came here, got a 26-year-old girl pregnant, frustrated the girl, the girl went into depression in Malindi, she got cancer, the girl was moved back to Nairobi to live with their family, with the girl's family, the girl died frustrated, and all the man was doing was push the girl to death. All the time we would call and tell the girl, anyway, you're going to die, you're a moving dead body, all sorts of things. This girl moved and went to court, children's court, before her death, and requested the court that in case I die, I would request that my poor mother takes care of my little boy. The boy is with the grandmother, the girl died. But the man is not giving them peace, threatening them, telling them that he's going to go to big courts, they will get arrested, he will put them in jail forever because he has money. Honestly, we need protection for our children. The child does not even go to school because the father is not providing. And the father is saying that there's nothing you can do because you don't know where to get me and I am married back at home. Such a scenario surely we really need protection for our girls for our children i honestly support this even back at home here we have all the people taking advantage of our younger girls especially the rich especially the powerful men and once the girl gets pregnant the girl is threatened with either you abort or you give birth and i take the child and if that happens that the girl takes into the pressure and gives birth and gives the child to the rich parent, rich father, the poor little girl will never see that child again. In most cases, where they move to court, they don't either even get justice because the courts sometimes, not all the times, are also, in their own words, would call it hot air, and the poor little girl will have nowhere to run to. I beg that we protect our children. The children did not request to be brought to this world. They don't know under what circumstances they came to this world. They should not be put under those circumstances that they don't understand. A child has a right more than even a grown-up. In the eyes of the Lord, in the eyes of justice of this country, we need to protect our children. May God rain down here and take this convention to action so that our children are taken care of, just as the mothers also need protection. Because some of the women that give birth to these children, also sometimes divorce do happen. And the court would rule that the mother and the child should be taken care of. But you find that the court, same same court, the rich person will go back to that court and the person will be told that now you're bankrupt, you can't take care of Fatima with that child anymore. And then the mother falls into the circumstances that the child is in. I beg to support. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Member for Rwangwe, Honorable Lillian Gogo. Thank you, Honorable I think I need another mic. Yeah, this is working. I appreciate you uh, for the good work that you are doing. Uh, 